the Villadieu community offers a diverse, vast, and ever-changing landscape. Up next, we learn about a fabulous local restaurant, a brand new early childhood center, a local filmmaker's new movie, students helping the hungry, and recap a unique Ladue dance as we go around town. Customers come in, they have a good time, tell their friends about it, and then they come back. Cafeteria food too expensive? Hungry after school? Then the perfect place to grab a bite to eat? Maybe just around the corner. Now we are mostly, uh, our biggest advertising is word of mouth. I, I'm personally in control of all liquor inventory, so I do all the purchasing for liquor, beer, wine, all that stuff. The chef makes sure that the food is always the same. If you come in on Tuesday, it will be the same. The next Tuesday when you come in, or the next night, it will it'll never be bad. It's always very good quality, and it's always the same. Uh, throughout an entire day, probably close to 100 people a day. I'm here two or three times a week. It's one of my favorites. Uh, if I'm by myself, I would, I would, I would eat something at the bar. Mm -hmm. But if I'm, I'm with some people, I eat in the dining room. We take care of our customers to a point where we want them to come back day in and day out, tell their friends about us, day in, you know. And we've really done a very good job about that. And that is really, I think, what has made us be the success. Lester Miller also owned, and Lester wanted to have a New York style deli, basically. And they figured, hey, why don't we turn it into an awesome sports bar? Um, I've been with the company since it started um, four years ago. Favorite thing to cook? Um, I just enjoy what I do, basically. I mean, there's nowhere that I can think of right now that you can go and there's 72 plasma screen TVs surrounding you. We are one of the only places in St. Louis where you can come and watch any sporting event and eat a corned beef sandwich. I mean, it's just, we're, we're very one of a kind for sure. Our repeat customers would definitely be the number one thing. We put out a great product here and um, we have a lot of people come back. They, day in and day out. I mean, I have customers come in five days a week, and that's really what keeps us going mostly is our regular customers. Combination of good food, technology, and an enjoyable atmosphere is turning Lester's into the hot spot of Ladue. Reporting alongside Nathan Perlmutter, I'm Jason Blanke, Ladue View. the administrator sort of over the building and I'm over all of the educational aspects of the preschool like curriculum and personnel and teachers and, and designing the programming for the for the uh, preschool. It might not look like it but this building is bursting at its seams. Luckily a new building is on its way. It's a very old building. It was one of the first buildings in the district and so things like the original plumbing and the electrical and all of those sorts of things are beginning to fail. I mean, they, they're tired. They've lived their life and so they're starting to, you know, to wear out. The space is limited. Uh, the bathrooms uh, facilities needed to be upgraded. One of the things right outside my office is that there's a large crack that the kids can trip over and it's, the building has been settling now for since I've been here for seven years and it's just getting bigger and bigger. We feel like we need a new facility. We've been 99 percent of the design team which has been awesome. It's going to have a whole bunch more people. Yeah, yeah and it's going to be like an apartment. Here at the site of the new LECC building and the progress looks fantastic. It's the first building that's been built in the Ladue School District for 50 years. Right now we're standing in most of the construction, you can see as far as the sunlight, is what it's going to look like after the project is complete. The finished product will be completely open. The big room, which will be the showpiece of the building, it'll be a uh, majority glass, of uh, glass around um, all the sides, and it's a two-story open-ended uh, open room which is really there's a lot of trees and nature and leaves and the coloring and I just think it's going to be a really beautiful place but it has very much been designed for an early childhood educational experience. Welcome to the new LECC. For Nina Bocchini, I'm Samantha Shanker and this is Ladue View.
It is October 17th, five months since the historic Pascal sign, and many theologians still agree the sign foretold the coming of the apocalypse. Pascal sign is an end of the world movie that instead of focusing on high end budget or big time special effects, instead inspects the intimate moments and uh, the personal connections and dilemmas that we would face if we were confronted with such a uh, catastrophic event as the end of humanity. Over winter break, a group of local students premiered their third feature film here at the Tivoli. But how is it that a group of teens could premiere such a professional looking film? Take a look. Psycho Films is a uh, student run production company that I founded back in 2006. Uh, since that time, we've released three feature length films Frame by Frame Chalk and uh, Now the Pascal Sign. I think that they, it was definitely very professional, very organized. They knew what they wanted, they, they got it taken care of. Joe knows what he's doing. He's a director. He can tell everybody what to do, and he has everything. He's almost like doing my job in a sense, but he's really on top of his ball. It really is a very moving, very powerful, uh, very powerful tale that we're trying to tell. And so I think that in the end, people were able to be enthusiastic about that and were willing to put in the time and energy to create something just because they felt so connected to the story itself. You love, you know, the tension kind of between the characters and the, you know, the movie was very dark. So we kind of went for that sort of feel with, uh, you know, the lighting and the, the lots of tight shots and. Um, you know, very close up, so it kind of feels claustrophobic. It's not about the end of the world, it's about the time before the end of the world, which is not something you see too often. It's a different experience to see how people would spend the end of the days rather than beyond that. There's really so much that people can take away from the Pascal sign, and that's one of the things I love about it, is that it's different for every person. It depends on who you are, and that will affect how you connect with the story, and what you learn or what you take away from the film. On premiere night, supported fans poured out of the theater and began to wait for the next Psycho Films creation. Until then, check out Pascal Sign on DVD. For Samantha Weil, I am Morgan Moore, reporting for Ledoux View. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> HOP is um, an acronym for the Hunger Outreach Project. It's a group of students who are dedicated to raising money and helping feed the St. Louis area hungry. There are about 75,000 people living in poverty in St. Louis area, and there's one club that works hard to help make a difference. Ledoux's largest and most active club focuses on working together to help the hungry in our community. I love it. It's a great way for me to get to work with students outside of the classroom, you know, and kind of get to know them on a more personal level and work together as a group doing something good for the community. So I really enjoy it. We have a lot of like diversity amongst the people because there's a lot of different ages, but um, no, it's nice. Everyone's really friendly to each other and <laughs> welcoming. We do food drives, um, babysitting night, car washes and stuff like that to just raise money and collect cans. HOP hosts many programs for local food banks in the St. Louis area. One big project HOP sponsors is the Canned Food Drive. We go down and we take all of the food down to a man named Otis, and there we set our food out, and people that need food go just go up to the place where we left off the food, and they take it as they need it. And it's really great to see actually the people that we are giving it to and how much they need it. You feel really good about helping people and you feel like you've accomplished something and that you're really like helping out in your community. It just always, you get a lot of satisfaction by knowing that you're helping people out. The people are all really fun and great and we have fun doing good things for the community. It's really rewarding. You always feel really good about yourself after you do something like that and you learn a lot about the community and I think it's just when you give you usually receive something in return. So I think it's a really fulfilling kind of club to be a part of. Tamara Patterson and Hope Williams reporting for Ladue View.
all the key players from Habitat, Stuco, um, Blue Crew, and Lhasa and Africa United met at the very beginning of the year to talk about things that we could start collaborating on. A new winter social will keep Ladue students dancing all night long. I'm John Odebo, reporting for Ladue View. Come see what all the hype is about. Different members of various clubs. We have Stuco working, we have Blue Crew, Habitat, and we have Lhasa. We had a meeting in September with all the clubs and we all thought this would be a good idea. And we were going for a more techno-like dance. And we decided to make it juniors and seniors only because only 300 people are allowed and we figured it could be a good tradition. Habitat and other groups are like doing things like with the music and stuff, like getting playlists down, taking like ideas down. If you have any ideas, you know, you're like throwing your own. The theme is winter white informal. We don't want everybody dressing formally. We don't want tuxes and ball gowns. We want just jeans and t-shirts, sweatpants, come as you are. We all kind of wanted to do like a third dance. Instead of only having homecoming and prom, we were like, well, other schools have like a Sadie Hawkins dance. Maybe we could do something different from that. The white, because all the um, the payment to get into the dance is a, an unwrapped gift, and all those gifts are going to the Kingdom House. And when the Kingdom House collects uh, toys for the holiday season, they wrap them all in white wrap. So that's the white part. Where everybody wears white, and you write on people. It's like kind of like a memory thing. So it's like it'll be like a very good memory. Like you like when you like come back like from like to like your high school reunion, you're just like, oh yeah, I remember that party. Like yeah, it's like I remember that party too. Like we wrote on each other, it's like so we thought it was gonna be cool. We figured it'd be a good tradition for upcoming underclassmen to look forward to every year if it's a success, which hopefully it will be. That's what all the buzz has been about around Ladue High School. Ending a great night. I'm Josh Schneider. Thank you for watching Ladue View.